Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Icewind Dale. Now, you may have realized that, uh, there's blooming clues here on how to solve the trap. Each of these symbols corresponds to the symbol I should be clicking to, uh, deactivate the trap. Yes. So, I will. Observe. There should be on here what is it you a require? hammer anvil. Immediately. Let us go find it. That is the thing that we need to stand on, and only that one. Oh look, this one! Wow! Now none of these are going to crush my face. Now, on the southern section, there should be two crossed... There we go! final one, there should be some rings. And these are the ones that I want to step on for this. Excellent! The trap is now deactivated. We can walk through here as you wish. at leisure. Look! Hmm? There's a hammer that we can as use. You, wish. you hear an extraordinary sound of clattering coming from the room through I'm the secret door. Probably a stairway. As best Let's I can. go down, shall we? And what do you know? Maybe there'll be some helpful dwarfs down here. Maybe I'm asking a bit too much. Maybe I'm asking way too much. Alright. <sighs> yeah. Just. trust this area. Oh, a dead guy. Oh! It's a scroll. Trap left me for dead, but it's just as well. I have felt the evil within me since the moment I stepped through this crypt. My actions are no longer my own, my thoughts confused, my will gone. Perhaps another will discover the disturbance. Okay. You have my attention. So yes, we better move on. I don't know what that trap was. Thanks for warning me of it, dead body. Ooh. Ah. Okay. Immediately. This... Well. Old. I await as best I can. Why does she feel very, very cold? You have my un indeed. Yes, yes. Hmm, what's up here? Oh! <laughs> the fire! You two have come to desecrate the remains of our home? Uh, absolutely not. Then why do you disturb this temple of Moradin? Ooh, it's a Moradin temple! Dorvan guy. I was hoping to learn more of the conflict that occurred within this area. Two catastrophes occurred within Dorm's Deep. The first was the destruction of our community at the hands of the Orcs. More recently, it was in the occupation of our cemetery, the Tears of the Dead, by the necromancer Terrakan. Terrakan? Terrakan is a wretched necromancer that came to Dorm shortly to the strife that put an end to our community. He was aware of the tragedy that gripped Dorm's deep, and it would serve the fertile ground to continue his research. What was he researching? During the construction of the deep, we had the misfortune of uncovering a cavern that housed an ancient vortice from the negative energy plane. Oh, goody, undead. <laughs> Now I don't know if some being from that plane felt our presence, or if the Vortis itself was disturbed by the intrusion, but shortly thereafter undead began to appear. And these undead invaded Dorm's Deep. First it was merely a skeleton or two, nothing we couldn't handle, but over time we received more and more reports of undead sightings. In the end, I don't think any of us were prepared for what would be known as the Battle of the Dead. How did the battle begin? 
One morning, a community awoke to the screams of the son of Yamoth. He'd been playing within some of the caves near the forge and claimed that he'd seen a small group of skeletons. We sent a few of our men to investigate. They returned, badly wounded. What had they found? Hundreds of skeletons, zombies, ghouls, and other undead had suddenly appeared in the vaults east cave, preparing to attack the settlement. With time working against us, we assembled our remaining soldiers and sent forth to vanquish the deceased. But hundreds of undead, with even greater numbers to follow, the dwarfs would have been greatly outnumbered. No, Dawn's dwarf, no Dawn dwarf would concede defeat while our community was threatened. Our wounded began to accumulate, and many of our brethren joined their attackers in spiritual unrest that day. Just as what it appeared that we might have to retreat, a miracle occurred. A miracle? <laughs> From within the tides of flesh and bone emerged Yamath, hacking at the dead around him with a fevered glee, bellowing with laughter. With each swing of his weapon, the undead around him disintegrated, regardless of whether he struck them or not. It was a beautiful sight to see, my friend. But I am just like a presence. How is that possible? Yamath and our community were touched by Moradin that day. We later discovered the vortices that had brought forth the undead had somehow reversed, rever returning the spirits to their home within the negative plane of energy. Then Terrakin came along. As a necromancer, he must have heard about the vortices, correct? Yes. The so community was no longer inhabited. Was the community no longer inhabited these chambers? Terrakin took up residence in the Hall of Heroes in the determination to restore the vortices. He is convinced that if he unlocks the secrets, he will be able to manipulate other vortices throughout Faerun. Great, so we have an evil necromancer of evil who wants to, well, bring undead in massive swarms. How original. Oh, it seems the entity of the Vortices would kill any man that approached it. Terrigan knew no mortal man could ever master the Vortices. Shortly after his arrival, he began preparing himself for the rituals necessary to become a lich. Fortunately, Terrigan must have neglected some of the proper enhancements, as all power he wields are inferior to much of his kind. If so, can you stop him? Then again, is much more powerful than I. I am fortunate I continue to inhabit these chambers with my own mind. I can learn to many dead within these halls. He seeks to destroy their will with his necromatic arts. I think it lives, he slays. I can destroy him for you. It could be an easy task. You cannot destroy Tarragon by striking him down. It is his life force that sustains him, not his shell. Life force? It just store their life forces within specially constructed phylactrophy. Phylacteries. Most liches go to great lengths to protect their phylacteries, often placing them in remote locations where no person can find them, safeguarding them with his enchantment. Tarakan, however, feels his phylactery is safe as close to him, and he has placed it within a crypt in the Hall of Heroes. So all I have to do is reach it there and destroy it. So he's not something that can be destroyed by common means to destroy us we need to remove from this plane. No less daunting than the other impossibilities we've been forced to endure in coming north. Touche! How could we remove this phylactery from the plane? This is where fortune favors. The very vortices that Terrigan was studying can destroy him as well. It lies in the Hall of Heroes, inside the tomb of Jamoth. Any undead being, regardless of power, is pulled back to the dreadful plane of existence upon entry into the tomb. That is why I've never been able to enter the tomb myself. Take the phylactery by Jamoth's tomb to destroy Terrigan. Doesn't sound too difficult. Ah, but to reach the Hall of Heroes, you'll need to pass through the Tears of the Dead, where Terrigan resides. Not only that, but the great door of the Vault of Heroes is locked, and I am certain Tarakan possesses the key. If you defeat Tarakan's physical form, make haste to the Hall of Heroes, for he will only be subdued for a short time. Ah, uh, thanks for the information. So, we have to go and require? kill a lich. Goody. I was just waiting for that chance. Goody, goody, gumdrops. You know, because liches... Oh. Alright, let me come back, folks. Liches! Until then, until then.